Yo, YouTube, what's up? How you guys doing? It's your boy, hey, Chris Payne, and I'm back again. How you guys been? It's been a long time. Please forgive me because these days I've been very, very busy with work and, you know, a lot of things have been going on in Christmas life, you know. So I haven't actually had time to just come and, you know, like, give you guys, you know, my Christmas effects, you know. But you know what? Today's Friday and I'm like, you know what? Let me just, like, come and just give you guys what I've, what I've been going through, what I've been doing. So let's start by saying that I actually went for a new hairstyle. Just around, I didn't go for the braid or for the dreadlocks or for the bleaching of the hair, you know. But I went all the way to the bald head. So here we go. Yeah, I look like. <laughs> and I actually look nice, you know. Like all, my friends were like, Chris, why did you go for this haircut? I'm like, listen, sometimes I just want to go to the barber salon and like I tell myself, you know, I want to have something new, you know, something fresh, you know. But get, then again, you know, if I put on my glasses, I look like a superstar. Look at this one. Let's put on my glasses. Look at this. Just look at this. Just look at this. Just, just look at this. Just look at that. Man, I look like a billion dollar guy, you know. Look at this. Man, I look so good, you know. Maybe I should be a superstar, you know, because I look like a superstar, you know. <laughs> so guys, this is the hair that I went for and obviously I really like it and I'm going to be rocking this for this whole summer, you know. So, let's jump into today's topic. Of course, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Like and share, tell your friends and family that Christmas is back again. You know, have something very interesting, very, very educative for people, especially those who really want to move to Europe, especially in Belgium precisely. Because I live in Belgium, so I'll be doing a lot of Belgium videos, you know. So if you're looking to move into Belgium, this video is for you. Please don't go anywhere. I will be right back. Welcome back guys, if you just tuned in, this is Hey Crispin 360 and of course, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like and share, tell your friends and your families to also come and join and watch and share, subscribe, okay? Alright, so let's jump into today's video. I'm, I'm going to be talking about some of the jobs you can actually find or you can do when you move or you arrive in Belgium, okay? Now, I mean, normally people are supposed to make this research before they move into Belgium, but for some weird reasons that I don't understand. Like, I don't understand. People come into the country and they have found themselves wanting. They'll be like, why did I even end up in this country? What can I do? How can I, you know, how can I survive and all that? So let's let's just get into it today. So here's the thing. First of all, I always say this. Belgium is not an English-speaking country. Before you make your mind to come here, you should be able to at least speak one of the official languages, which is the Dutch or French. Apparently. The Dutch in Holland is not the same Dutch in Belgium, but it's similar. It's kind of like the American English and then the British English. Likewise, the Australian English, the South African English, the Canadian English, but it's the same English, you understand? But they have a way of speaking. We, that's what we call the, uh, the dialect, you understand? That is Belgium for you, you understand? So before you come here, make sure that you are able to at least speak or you are willingly, the word is, willingly to go to school and study the Dutch, which I will tell you, it ain't cheap. I mean, if I say it ain't cheap, I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about it ain't easy for you to learn the language, especially when you're like an adult. Because why am I saying this? When you're an adult, you have to pay bills, you have to do all those things. So you can't like, you don't have time to go to school to study and all that. So that is the, like the, like this, the bad side of it. But of course, if you know that mommy and daddy is here, that you have time to study, hey, go for it. Okay, for jobs. Kind of jobs you can do in Belgium. Now here's the thing. I want to start with the like the lowest one, then we can go to the highest one. Okay. So for example, if you come to Belgium and you don't speak Dutch and maybe let's say your educational like credentials back in your home country is not that up to standard, okay? And you really want to do something just for the money, of course you can work in a warehouse, the logistics, or you can even work as a domestic help, which is very okay here in Belgium. I think domestic help they almost in the same salary, you understand? So it's not that it's not much of a big deal. I mean, of course, if you work in farming, which is not common. I'm, actually, I've not seen farming in Belgium, actually. But what I know is that in Belgium, most people who come to Belgium, they work in warehouses or they want to be a cleaner. So either you have to work in a warehouse or then you work as a cleaner. Like in general, a domestic help, you understand? That is it. However, if you think this kind of jobs is below your belt and you want to go a little bit upgrading, then you can go to the school and have a professional vocational course. 
okay in belgium here they look for people to who want to do that you know because um for example in healthcare in belgium is very very important and it's, there's a high demand for that labor skill in that place is very 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 competitive so when you come here you want to go into nursing i mean education itself in belgium is very very cheap and if you come in you really want to study they are willing to give you the chance okay you go to the school they state like they teach you the fundamentals you know like how you can be a good nurse or a caregiver let me just say a caregiver okay so you go to school of course if you don't speak that trust me you know i was told that most of these courses in the uk or in, in like in the english speaking countries i mean it's it's, it's been there like six months six weeks but in belgium because the language is also part of the job you could end up spending like three years in the classroom mm -hmm. i'm a victim i know what i'm talking about yes you guys so psychic your mind and bear in mind when you go to school it's maybe um i mean it's an option actually because if you think you can still waste these three years or if you think you can spend these three years and go to school and you like you'll be sponsored or like you'll be financed by somebody or a family or like a relative fair enough no problem but i wouldn't advise somebody who is just like new in the country to go to school and study for three years i mean come on i mean i wouldn't do that i mean if i didn't have a support i wouldn't have gone to school in belgium trust me but hey i love to go to school i love to study and you know, education is part of me so i love to study and all that so yeah that is the thing so let's just say you want to come in to just work and just make the money and just go back home fine you want to work in a warehouse or you want to be a, a domestic help that's very good for you now if you like i said if you want to like really really upgrade a little bit higher you can go for the course and then become a little bit higher than domestic and then but like warehouse jobs okay that's if you want to like take care of the old people as in caregiving you know like the, the, the caregiving is very very uh demanded here in belgium they want people to come in there are lots of them here so you're looking for people to come in you know help them so but of course if you don't speak the language trust me not gonna work for you so yes the second is the healthcare system okay and then the third one is the sedimentary work if i say sedimentary work i'm talking about the managers the secretary the one that sits in the offices with their suits with their skirts and all that you know that kind of that kind of fancy computerized offices you know yes and before you get there we are talking about degrees phd masters you know that, like you should be higher there like like you should be there you understand here in belgium most of the jobs that i see like they have this what they call like the naric it's more like equivalent of evaluating your credentials or your qualifications from your home country so before you come in make sure that uh, i know people who came from africa with degrees but when it comes to belgium they have to like decrease it to a diploma or hnd something like that so they have to just go to another two years in school to actually meet up they kind of make it look like the standard of education from africa and in europe is not the same you know that's that is the mentality or like like that is the logic so here's the thing so if you come here don't expect that you can actually come here with your master's degree or your degree and just your first degree and come and just work like that sometimes 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 you have to just go back to school and just like decrease it and then just you know upgrade to get to the standard you understand so that is also a thing that you should also look into it when you're looking for a job you understand so don't just come here and then assume that oh i have a degree i have a master's degree so yes when i come to belgium i'm going to be shooting poop, and then you get a job no it doesn't work like that you understand so for today but i'm not going to end here i just want to add something to it now here's the thing if you can go to school and still work at the same time it actually helps you but here's the thing what people don't know is that you can actually work in belgium for a full full year that's about 366 365 days wait 365 days a year yeah my mathematics is very, very bad you know you can actually go to school i mean work for one year then you stop then you take uh unemployment benefits then you can go to school and study that's it the system in belgium makes it easy for people to actually study you understand if you really really know the in and out you can actually study in belgium and be staying student so it's either you choose one do you want to work a full time for one year so you can qualify for the unemployment benefits or you want to just stop and go to school for um uh the job uh, like the job market to pay you but here the thing they call something video in belgium video is like um it's a you know in belgium we have the flemish and then the brussels right uh like the work labor force you understand so if you want to stay in the flanders side that's the video that's the dutch side and then i think brussels also have address you understand when you go to them they will actually give you the information of which school is enrolling or which school is actually admitting people 
for a particular or a certain kind of careers or field that you want to stay in. So watch out or maybe look out for wherever you are staying. Are you in the Flanders side or like the French side? You have to look onto these things and then look for people who want to do these things, okay? So yes, so Belgium has a lot of varieties, very, a lot of op options for you, you understand? You just have to know what you want to do and then uh, I think everything's going to be with you. But then again, like I told you, language is very, very important in Belgium, okay? You can have the, look, you can ace your exams, you can have the best grades in the classroom or what. If you can't speak the language, trust me, like you are like, it, it, it's crazy like you can't so psychic your mind don't just pack your bags apply for your business get your stamp and buy your tickets and fly to belgium because you end up coming here and then you'll be disappointed please do your research it's very very important all right crispinators i would just like to end my vlog for today and then i hope this my short information or educative topic will help somebody who is trying to come here or somebody who is already here and is trying to start a new life afresh okay and also you can share it to your friends and family okay i love you guys and it's still if in case you haven't subscribed to my channel please do not forget to subscribe anytime i hear any good news or bad news or good information i'll just come here and post it on my channel okay i love you guys and stay safe corona is almost over let's just chill for this summer and watch out for this channel because this summer i'm going to be booked and i'll be flying all over you know it's nice so there's a lot of content coming on this channel so i love you guys and have a nice time on to the next vlog of christmas 360 Bye, all.